Hey, what's going on everybody? Cornbread Trucker. Uh, coming to you from not so sunny Daytona Beach. Pulling an Eric Odom and doing a video in the vehicle, in my car. But uh, hey, it's something I wanted to add. I brought up in a short video yesterday morning um, there in Springfield when I had my tractor in the shop the uh, mechanic had came back from a meeting they had just had and in that meeting um, he had said that uh, they were told that all future Peterbilt orders was going to come with the Cummins motor instead of the pack car and I had mentioned you know that we'll take that as rumor for right now um, that you know we had not heard anything official you know I had not heard anything official I just heard what he had said was mentioned he had asked if I had heard it and I told him I did not as I, I just happened to be in my truck I was talking to my wife at the time but anyways uh, I went up to success leasing and just talked to the lady there at the the desk as you as you come around and the answer i got from her and the lady that was standing there with her was that they do not know and she said it in a way and i could be taking this wrong but she said it in a way that made me feel like either there there was definitely discussion about it but they weren't they was not told yet or maybe it's just because they haven't put it out now, i got a feeling it's going to come out in the driver meeting this week could be wrong we'll see uh, but as for me uh i'm ordering a truck probably around april and i decided i was going to stick with the peterbilt um i just can't give up that ride and just a little nicer interior. I'm kind of one of those people that if I get up and see the the uh, interior that's in a freight liner every day, I'm just going to be upset every day. I, this and this 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 deal with freight liner this goes back to back when I drove 20 years ago. You know, I had six seven years experience back then and. A driving experience and, and ex at that time and I just never was happy with the freight liner with the freight shaker it just it always got under my skin and I think it's because you know I just knew that there was nicer rides nicer interior out there I uh, I think I mentioned this I know I've mentioned this before my dad had owned trucks when I was just a kid and I would ride with him in the summer, you know, and I remember riding in a Kenworth and a Peterbilt and, you know, those were classics in essence. They, they weren't called classics then, as I recall, but, but, you know, we call them classics today. And, and, uh, you know, I, those are just, those were great trucks and the interior, you know, for the time period, you know, was really nice. And then when I started driving and, you know, and, the freight liners that I was in, I, I just, I never cared for it, you know, and I've driven international cab overs, um, you know, for a period, I've driven a, an international Eagle back in the nineties. Um, you know, and I was, I was even happy with that international Eagle at the time, but the mo engine situation was different then too. But, uh, anyways, that's the news. I'm going to keep it at that. We'll talk to you later.